Hello, hello, hello! You know who it is! Nitro's back like I left something, baby! Ah! <laughs> Look, Hurricane Ian thought, he really thought he was going to be the end to me. No. See, I got God's blessing just drink, just, just covering all over me. So sorry, Ian. I will survive. I will survive. Oh, I know the baby gun fall. You trying to fall rise. You tried to blow away my house. You tried to shut down my show. But now I'm back. And I'm coming with my paw. I'll show you why. I will survive. <laughs> Yo, check it out. Look, 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 look. This is episode number 16, yeah, of the Wonderkin Show. So check this. What you hear in the background actually is a generator. My power is not back. 78% of Port Charlotte is still without power. It was like 97%, but they're working on it. So right now, that sound in the background is the reason why you can still get this content. So please, ignore it. Be content. <laughs> Yo. You feel me? But look, I've been gone for a couple days, and we got some stuff to talk about. Lamar Jackson, which is, let's be real, my favorite topic to speak on. He's on pace for over 60 Touchdowns. 60. 6 0. That would be an NFL record, I believe. What makes it even crazier is that he's on pace to beat the passing touchdown record, also. Held by Peyton Manning. You'll remember that ridiculous year he had with the Broncos, right? Oh, I know you remember. Lost to the Seahawks. That was the only... That season was amazing for that team. And the only true derailing of it was the loss. And I mean, they got trounced by the Seahawks. But nonetheless, one of the greatest offensive outputs in NFL history, if not the greatest, we've ever seen. He's on pace to be that. <laughs> and we're not even talking total touchdowns. Because if you talk total touchdowns, he's like at 68. The reason why I'm speaking about that today, because this is another athlete that bet on himself because the team refused to give him a contract that fit his distinguishment as a player. You know who I'm talking about, Aaron Judge for the New York Yankees. Now, let me be real with you. The Yankees have never been a team to be scared to shell out money. There's been a couple World Series where people said they just bought it. You know, remember that old song? Just throw it in the bag. Hey, that's what they were doing with these players. They were just going to the shop and so was like, I want you, I want you, I want you. Oh, you a pitcher. Uh-huh, you're coming home. That team did not want to give Aaron Judge his cash. You know what he did? He said, it's no problem. This is a distinguished um, organization. But I'm going to prove to you that not only... I deserve that contract, but I'm going to make you want to give it to me. So Mr. Aaron Judge is on pace for 60 home runs, which oh, <laughs> is crazy. Crazy. If you listen, if you if you keep this in a and speaking this in a vacuum, he's having one of the greatest hitting seasons in MLB history. That added, I want to prove myself and prove you wrong. Seems to be an ingredient 
to helping these players have their greatest seasons and making these teams shell out that dope. Now, my favorite player, Lamar, is going through the same thing. And I'm telling you right now, Bashadi is sweating like how I'm sweating right now. Because he's seeing them dollar signs go up every time he throws or runs a touchdown. Every single yard he gains, the price increases. And it's deserved. Lamar Jackson is accounting for over 85% of the team's total offense. 85%. That's that's mind-boggling numbers for people that do not understand just what this player is doing. And it's crazy how we're having a historical season on the the MLB side and we're having a historical season on the NFL side so far. And I'm not going to tell you the only thing that could derail this season because I don't have no wood to knock on. And I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to jinx him. But Lamar Jackson is that guy. And let me tell you this right now. I love how the media is trying to pivot their narratives around his greatness. And the reason why I say that is you guys are thinking that they know or they are now noticing his greatness. No, that is not what's going on. The media understands that he's a mercurial star, a white dwarf star, shining bright through all the darkness. And what they are doing is trying to build a narrative, build him up, hoping that he will fall. In other words, fail. That's what they're doing. You see, it's called hedging your bets. If they all see their, oh my God, he's so great. Oh my God, he's an MVP. Oh my, oh my God. Right? That's what they're doing. Oh, all right, eight, eight, I made a mistake. You're great. But the first sign of a slip up, they will be there to pounce. Because everybody loves a hero. Everybody loves a hero. But you know what people love more than a hero? The fall of one. And trust me, that narrative writes itself. That's what they're hoping for. And even if that narrative doesn't come to pass, they can always say, we seen this coming. We were on the bandwagon. I see your tricks. What you thought? What you thought? Hurricane Ian blew debris in my eye? What you thought? I can't see? Wrong. I see clearly. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Yes. So, I'm hoping. Here's the thing. I picked him to be MVP before anybody. I showed you clips with Stephen A. Smith coming out of his own mouth saying that there is no way and you know what that Lamar Jackson will win MVP and that the Baltimore Ravens will win their division or even for God's sake go to the Super Bowl. Have you noticed how his tune has changed? Yeah. Because he's hedging his bet. Ah, media analysts these days are so easy to decode. You guys are not Sherlock Holmes. Stick to reading the script. (laughs) Ah, and shout out to Baltimore because we coming for the Bills on Sunday, 1 p.m. And I don't care what I got to do. I'm going to find some ways to watch that game. And oh yeah, to to the Ravens secondary, there is only one word, one word that describes how I feel with them going against Josh Allen. Survive. 
survive. Survive. Please. And this game is ours. Thank you for tuning in. Look, I'm back for the first time. I know, I'm sorry, I was missing in action. But Ian was tripping. But I'm going to be uploading this content. You're going to see me just as much as ever before. And thank you guys for sending out the prayers and the love all over Twitter. I love you guys. Thank you for showing up. Like and subscribe. And you know how I end these episodes. Because you knows my slogan. Peace. And I'm out.